Hello YouTube, this is Frank from Happy Coder and today in this video I'd like to talk to you about my favorite console emulator, my favorite terminal emulator for the Windows operating system which is a piece of software by the name of Commander and more importantly I would also love to talk to you about how to use a package management software for Windows which is called the Chalk Lady to install the Commander software and potentially also using Chocolady to manage a whole plethora of other applications for the Windows platform. And as a web developer or as a programmer in general, we tend to spend a lot of time interacting with CLI-based softwares. Uh, so having a really good functional and hopefully aesthetic piece of console emulator to work with is going to save you a ton of time down the line and make the whole interaction with the CLI more enjoyable. There's also a very informative video made on the Commander console emulator from the channel uh, Travesty Media. Even though I wasn't exposed to this piece of software from his channel, I started using this software a long time ago. I found his video on this software to be very informative. So if you have time, definitely check out his video as well. I'll be including the link in the description down below. And without further ado, let's get into today's content. All right, hello guys. So we've already talked about my favorite console emulator for the Windows operating system is Commander. Now, instead of going to download the executable and install the software the normal way, I'd like to talk to you about my preferred way of managing softwares on the Windows operating system. And again, credits where credits are due, I was inspired to go to this route, namely using a package manager to manage all the packages and softwares on a given operating system by a video made by a gentleman by the name of Corey Schaefer. And he makes a lot of data science related and Python related programming videos. And I'll be linking to his video on this topic, which is his introduction to how to use the homebrew package manager for the OS X operating system down in my descriptions. So if you guys are interested in, you know, using the homebrew package manager to manage your OS X softwares, you can glean a lot of information from his video. So with that said, let's now first install the Windows package management software that I choose to use, which is a piece of software by the name of Chocolatey. So if we go to uh, the chocolatey.org, which is their official website, and click on get started. These are the information we'll need to complete the installation. All right, if we try to open up a PowerShell command line instance with the admin privilege and try to run this get execution policy command. Now inside of the PowerShell instance, if we run the get exe execution policy command and, and the return value signifies that the execution policy currently grants us the permission to install the chocolatey software so let's now copy this command and run it directly in our powershell instance and as you can see it's doing its work to install chocolatey onto our machine and now it looks like everything is done so if we clear the console and run Choco, we can see that Choco is currently installed. And now, with the package management software installed, let's now try to install the Commander console emulator within this environment. Let's first try to search for the package to make sure that the installation files are available on the Chocolatey repository. So if we run Choco search Commander, we can see that the first returned package is exactly the software that we're trying to install. So now we're going to run and make sure that uh, whatever console, whatever uh, command line instance you open up with has the admin privilege. Otherwise, the installation process will not be successful. So let's run charcoal install commander. And now the package management software is trying to install Commander onto our machine and it's asking us do you want to run the script and we're going to enter A which stands for we accept all. Oh 
Okay guys, now it looks like the Commander console emulator has been successfully installed onto our machine. And if we look for it in, in our system, So I've been using Chocolatey for a while and I've found out that for certain software packages like Commander that we have just installed, you might need to reboot your machine in order to be able to use it. Just let me very quickly reboot my computer and I'll talk to you after that. Alright guys, so I have just rebooted my computer and now if we look for the Commander software in our computer, we can see that indeed it has been successfully installed. And now let's try to run it and I'll just demonstrate to you why I like it so much. So the first time it's running, it's gonna run some config process. And you can see that the biggest reason why I like this console emulator so much is because it accepts both Windows and Unix based commands. So let's say that if we want to look at the content of this directory, we can either do dir um, and, or we can use ls-la to examine the content of this directory. And by the same token, we can either do clear or we can do CLS to clear the screen. And more than that, and just like you can use uh, the special character tilde in bash or any Unix based command line interface to go to your home directory, you can also do that in commander. And as you type in tilde and enter tab, it's going to resolve that path to your home directory. And let's now go to um, desktop. And now let's use some Unix command to create a file. Let's do touch um, test.js to create a file called uh, test.js. And amazingly, and much to my satisfaction, you can also use the Vim uh, text editor within this console emulator. So let's do Vim test.js to edit this file that we have just created. And let's go to the insert mode and do console.log. I love Commander. And now let's exit and do right quit. And now let's use another text editor within the Unix system uh, called nano. And if we do nano.test, Indeed, you can see that we can use a lot of the pre-installed text processing applications that are, you know, privileged or exclusive to the Unix system. But now we can use it on our Windows machine thanks to this Commander console emulator. Now let's exit. And now I would like to talk to you about some of the, you know, cosmetic or aesthetic options that you can customize within this commander console emulator so we can you know change our color settings and really play and go crazy with all these color settings let's stick with monica and i really like to set my console emulator to have a really low opacity so if we go to features and then transparency you can see that we can play with the opacity to have it overlay on top of some other applications. If you really use the console, you really spend a lot of time dealing with this kind of command based inputs. You can set the window of this, you know, commander software to be always on top, no matter what kind of other things that you're working on. This, you know, window is always on top and inside of it, you can even, you know, let's say open up another window. Let's name this one to be client. So let's say that you, you just started a React or Angular application within this Commander tab and you can open up another tab and rename it to be server and start a node server here. Lastly, I just want to briefly go back to the Chocolatey Windows package management software. And uh, within Choco, you can do a lot of things. You can do list to look at and use the dash L flag to look at all the softwares that are currently available via uh, Chocolatey on your local machine. And as you can see, we only have Chocolatey and Commander at this moment. 
And in the future, if you ever want to check the availability of any new packages, you want to check if any of your locally installed softwares are out of date, you can use the command Choco outdated to do just that. And as you can see, currently all of our chocolatey packages are up to date and uh, potentially if you want to update any software you can always do choco upgrade followed with the name of the package but at this moment because all of our packages are up to date we're not going to do any of that so that's pretty much all i have to say about commander and uh, chocolatey these are very very useful tools i really really love this console emulator and the chocolatey software management software has been saving me a lot of time and a lot of pain in regards to manage different softwares especially when it comes to installation and update for uh, runtime environments such as python and node.js all right guys that's all i have to say in today's video i hope you found this video to be informative and uh, if this is the first time that you're on this channel, I would like to have you subscribed. I upload weekly videos talking about all kinds of topics that are related to the JavaScript environment. And please like, subscribe, and comment down below. And I will see all of you in next week's video. Bye-bye.